Hello and welcome to our uh, third segment of the week involving hockey. And this time, uh, I guess the fan favorite thing of uh, the Sabres right now. Got a oh. puck coming at us. Okay. It happens. Live TV right Bye. here. Uh, the Sabres coming off two games, two wins over Scriber, heading two games in, against the Ice Dogs this weekend. Uh, what's it looking like in, in the league right now for the Sabres? Oh, there's a log jam there between second and fourth. Uh, we're one point back of the Bearcats right now, and Schreiber's one point behind us. We do have a game in hand in the Bearcats, but they pulled out three wins on the weekend, the Bearcats, that is, all over the uh, winless Sulecote Flyers. I saw in the paper today, came out today, you're talking to Wayne Strand about maybe making some moves before January 10th. They go on the ice January 9th. Is he, do you think he's comfortable with, with his team? Do you think there's anywhere they can, might be able to improve? making moves before the trade deadline? Well, they definitely have the uh, the player cards to uh, to add some pieces before then. And uh, I think you'd have to keep looking. You know, no matter how good your team is, you still want to, you know, if you can get that right guy that's going to improve your team and put you over the top, I think he'll pull the trigger on that. And uh, he has told me he's looking around. He's not going to reveal anything. He doesn't want to get out. Uh, apparently he has problems with that from the, uh, the past transactions that have gone on. But... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull the trigger on something over the Christmas break there and uh, add maybe a player or two, possibly a goal-scoring centerman or a playmaker. And uh, if I was the GM, that's probably where I'd go, but I'm not. So we'll uh, we'll have to see. It'll be interesting here.